Hello, I hope you're fine. We're doing blend shapes today. We find under the default menu in Maya, blend shape at the very top. I think it's by alphabetical order. That's not, It's not uh, by importance. It is important though. Uh, in order to demonstrate you what it does, let's create this object here. It's new in Maya 2018. And in the attribute editor, if you click here, you see it's a super shape, a super ellipse, and here you can modify the ellipse. That's what we're going to do now. Um, we will um, move this to the left and create another one, just the same one. And then uh, we create, we move this to the right, and then we create a third one in the middle. Now uh, we can change this parameter, the exponent in the vertical exponent here, and make this look like a box like this. And uh, we can move the slider to the right, and this is what's happening then. You're pretty familiar with that from previous tutorial, I guess. So uh, what a blend shape does is it animates between different shapes. So. If we want this sphere uh, to morph into that shape or into that shape, we simply do this. We select either one on the sides first and last the target object. This is where we want to see the animation coming. So this is the last selection here now. And now we go to deform and to blend shape. Blend shape will not execute if you have different topologies, uh, at least very different topologies. For example, if you want to morph a torus into a, into a sphere, this just doesn't work because Maya doesn't know how to uh, change one topology, one layout of the uh, UV uh, space into another. Now what we have, have here now, after invoking the deformed blend shape, uh, is this. Select um, the middle sphere and then you have a weight here. It's a blend, under the blend shape uh, section you have the super shape 1 and the super shape 2 and look what's happening now when I move the slider up now. Okay my phone is ringing, I'm back in a second. Hello, I'm back again. Uh, just an important call from uh, Marcus, a wonderful person working for Wikipedia, just like I do. Anyway, uh, this is um, uh, this uh, was a, a sphere, and now <laughs> it's this star uh, shape here, and it comes from that blend shape here. It's this slider. Uh, the second slider uh, morphs the sphere into the box. You will see in a second, like this. Okay, and back, and not any further. So it doesn't morph from the box to the sphere and here. But of course you can do this and make all kinds of in-betweens here. For example, this is a boxy, pinchy little thing, like this. It's an intermediate object which you don't get by just uh, creating uh, the super ellipse and playing with the parameters. So this is basically what the blend shape does. It makes uh, a uh, blending, a morphing from one object to a central object and from another to a central object. And of course you can have several of them like uh, uh, other f spheres which you make longer or wider or whatever. It tries to match the topology and uses two sliders. If you have four objects plus this central ones you will have four sliders. So uh, that's the starting point now and now let's create oh, I guess five faces. So this is a new scene. Uh, you can start a face, we'll keep it very abstract and not invest any time into modeling really. You can start with a, with a, a plane or whatever let me start uh, with a sphere and uh, here under the polysphere one uh, 
attributes you have the subdivision x is 20 and let's raise this to 50. Um, I right click and select face and now I go into the side view here and here is the sphere from the side and now I select the back part all the faces and press delete there are some left at the top of the bottom button uh, we we don't care about them now um, we will just go back to object mode and squeeze it a little bit like this and like this so it becomes more or less a face it doesn't have a nose it doesn't have eyes yet um, we will now go to the front view so we see it press F so we see it directly from the front and now we just delete a couple of uh, faces in order to make the holes for the eyes so I select faces here in the menu and uh, for example I select those six plus those six and press delete so I have the holes for the face now and here I press those and delete them as well. So this is my basic shape now. Um, right mouse click, go back to object mode, you can press F8. Uh, it, uh, it's basically the same. Now this is going to be our blend shape target. It's the one we'll, we'll be actually working on. And now I press <laughs> Ctrl D, which duplicates that object. And I move it to the right. And now I duplicate it again and in order to have um, a nice order here I can now use edit duplicate special or duplicate with transform it's shift D actually so it um, does the same thing um, in the same uh, there's this, uh, the same spacing here the same transformation so let's have uh, well four of them so plus the target object. We need to modify the the uh, other shapes now. And what I'll do now is I go into the front view again, like here, and then uh, I can just change the size of the eyes. Let's do this by picking the vertices and those I think it's about 12 vertices and I press the key R which gives me the scale tool and I close the eyes. And I go to the next one go uh, into vertex mode again and I make the the eyes wide open so it's the same selection here and I open them then I select a little bit more of the surroundings like this and it's really wide open now even more of the surroundings like here and then it's it's uh, it's important for these uh, control vertices and the faces not to overlap the points should they should be quite even so to say so uh, I have a closed eye uh, uh, mask now and an open eye, wide open eye mask now. Now do the same with the mouth. Right mouse click, vertex. So let's close the mouth now. Like this. And here I will open the mouth wider so I select, select a, a wider section here like this wider deselect those wider oh, that's basically it so that's what I'm having now um, I have this one is the eyes closed this is the eyes wide open this is the mouth closed and this is the mouth wide open. Uh, what I'm doing now is nothing else but select one, two, three, four, and finally the one I'm actually wanting to work on, that one. And now I go to deform blend shape and that's all I need. So I have the blend shape here and now I have four sliders. 
what I can do is delete those if I don't need them anyway uh, maybe I need to modify them further then I need to invoke blend shape again now um, let's select this and here's the blend shape and now I have the first slider when I slide it open the mouth opens that's because the, f the uh, further right mask was first was uh, in the selection okay the phone again sorry for the interruption uh, <laughs> we have uh, four sliders now and this one is the one which opens the mouth this one is which closes the mouth this one is uh, which, uh, the one which opens the eyes and this of course is the one which closes the eyes I think if I load the attributes here deselect wait a minute tech I'm gonna deselect this this thing here select yeah that's that's what I wanted um, so I don't have the uh, the face always selected uh, now I can go to the to the uh, perspective window for example and look at the thing from the side and see what it does it does this and now I can of course mix and that's the whole purpose of the blend shape uh, and imagine you have uh, uh, a layout of the of the face according to the muscles which go circular around the eyes and the mouth for example not like here uh, you can use maybe 100 blend shapes in order to make very sophisticated very delicate uh, small uh, morphs from one into another so for example this one opens the mouth uh, mouth clothing doesn't make sense here but you can open the eyes now so it's oh what is happening here uh, and you can of course close the mouth and close the eyes I'm going to sleep so that's basically what I wanted to tell you about blend shapes and uh, try to make interesting objects of all kinds at, as long as they have the same topology so the working with duplicates is always the best uh, approach for blend shapes and it's under deform blend shape